Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so we are doing another main quest episode and I have done a couple of side quest um, missions, but I feel like they're not really enough yet. So I want to keep doing more side quest missions, but for now, since I was able to do a main quest episode, I might as well post that one. In the previous episode, we had to save a lot of people at the whole route because Regala basically ambushed us, uh, thinking that it was the perfect opportunity for them to ambush us because everyone is vulnerable. Another interesting thing that happened in the previous episode was Gaia actually received signals and coordinates of Eleuthia's location. And we mean? found that a bit fishy it's because we thought that the Zeniths could be placing a trap for us. We found out that it wasn't really Eleuthia's signal, but it was actually Beta who sent out the signal, hoping that we would find her. However, she wasn't really that happy with how much progress we've made so far in helping Gaia and in helping different Zeniths. But Aloy is one heck of a gal, and I'm pretty sure she'll figure out a way to solve it. So with that said, let's get started with Horizon Forbidden West. What? What was that? I heard someone grunt. Let's check it out. Well, can we even check blades. it out? Seek Regala together. Hmm. Berries. Let's save. Oops. Look at the lighting! I don't know about you, but my favorite time of the day is 5 in the morning. Though I haven't been able to wake up that early. <laughs> I just love it when the sun's about to rise up, you know? Rise up! Wait, I think that's from Hamilton. Speaking of Hamilton, that was such a that was such a good play. I would rewatch it. <gasps> it's like I feel like Simba. I feel like Mufasa and Simba, and I'm walking towards the sun. This is so cool. Look at that. Zimba. I actually do not know the words. <gasps> Blink! Ooh, let me land. There we go. Huh. Apex Sky Drift. Okay. Hmm. Would be fun, but I don't feel like fighting right now, so let's just move on. Nice. Let's kill these guys real quick. What are they doing? Are they sunbathing? Catch the sunlight. Probably a fast flyer too. Oh that's so cool! They're like charging up <laughs> using the UV rays. I kind of feel bad killing them now. Or not, because they're too pretty strong. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, wrong arrow, wrong arrow.
you missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Go ahead. Nice, we got it. Woo, that was pretty fun. Let's get the blueberry first. Oh, he's in my pack. Hmm. Machines. Uh, let me think about it. Let me think about it. See, this isn't this rider. Oh, Shoxi. Shox, Shox, damn you, A bit more. Always pretty fun to kill, though. Let's get the resources. That oh, there's one more. Nice. Favorite part. Nice. We got it. I'm always hyping myself. <laughs> How did I think about it? Okay, where do we go now? Oh, it's a borrower! Whoa, it looks so cool! Never gets old. Oh, Shoxy. Noisy! Did I just say noisy? <laughs> I fix noisy! It doesn't even sound like nice, it just sounds noisy. Ooh, what's other fan? Hmm. I wonder if I should fight it, but um. We're kind of, I want to focus on the mission, so let's just go. Let's let, let's we'll, we'll come back to that later. Ooh, blueberries.
What's that sound? Oh, it's the sound of fight. Oh, what's that? Is this a bad guy? Oops, I missed. Wait, can I, let's scan him first. Oh, shots. What the heck? Nice. Vegas? This is supposed to be Vegas? Oh my god, this is so cool! Because like, I I recently watched Resident Evil. I think that was Resident Evil 3 or 2. And they also featured Vegas. And it was covered in sand too! <laughs> so that's so cool! I find seeing the world in an apocalyptic reset somewhat beautiful. Like, I feel like the world's beginning to heal. You know what I mean? Okay, just one more hit. Got it. Ooh, loot. I love the motion of the sand. Look at that. It looks so realistic. I've never been to Vegas though. So I kind of wish I knew what the what place specifically this was inspired from, but they did such a good job with making everything look um corroded. Is, is that the term I'm looking for? Like it's just everything's just deteriorated so well that it's believable that it would deteriorate like this <laughs> okay let's go oh let's check this place out oh ah, man nice Just 
dirty thing. Going down! Oh, we can pull it! Okay. Oh, there's another one right there. Can we move this? Let's try. Hmm. This doesn't seem to be the place we're looking for, so... I guess let's just move on. Check it out. Oh, look at the water! It's so cool! The Tower of Tears. That's... That's cool. I like how they named this tower, Tower of Tears. Pretty witty. It's a witty name, I like it. Maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life? Or succumb to deadly delusion. <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um, what is up with this guy? Why is he talking like well, that? You're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it diving. got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. Mm. Hammer and... Ah! What is this? What's happening here? What? Get up here. He's in love with Aloy! She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, I like on. that. I like Moreland. <laughs> questions first. Fair enough. Partner. Partner. That was quick. Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well. <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Okay. Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. <laughs> Behold, an ember. 
Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Grandfather? How did your grandfather discover these numbers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman. <laughs> and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. He looks like such a sweet guy. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, nothing went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken. But not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Yeah! That's how I want you. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. We're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories. <laughs> Which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks. They're a production team! Well. Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Oh. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. <gasps> is this the way that we put? So these embers project images? Paintings of light. 
It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. Let's get the parts. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Nice. My dad's so nuts. <laughs> ah. I'm so happy for Aloy. I think I this is gonna be her love theme. Finally, going to get away from this place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the world, the deep is your love. Oh yeah, it is pretty deep. Air capsule. I actually felt that. Now to get all the machine parts. We'll find a way to get the embers. I know we will. Optimism. Probably get a oh, guest list of fifty. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale. Is he getting married? No, uh, no. Nope, nope. For him, scrapper's up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <laughs> we were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. Bro, relax. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Okay. Oh, new legendary weapons! I don't, I don't have it. I need a rock breaker circulator though. Shoxy. And a behemoth circulator. Okay. I'll create a job for later. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. He got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here in the middle of the desert. Delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes a dream has to die. 
So dark. This dream of Morlan's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Morlan will do his, his light spectacle thing. <laughs> Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. Hmm. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Morland mentioned you were showman. What? An Osram can't be anything other than a, a, a Delver tinker or drunkard? <laughs> okay. I remember an errand. We are Delvers, too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows. What are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, um, Morland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do you think? No, they don't. <sighs> hmm. So Moreland was down in this ancient city and- The three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then, Morland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. Mm. Okay, oh, I guess we'll just alone. say goodbye. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. So grumpy! And then after we successfully help them out, he's gonna be nice. I know the type. Okay, rock breakers are the side. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Okay, let me activate the main quest again first before. Tower of Tears. Okay. Oh, let's save. He's still alive after I hit him. That's a strong little piggy. Okay, wait, let's get back on track for the mission. I guess I trap whenever I see animals. Should lead me to the herd. All tracks, highlight track. There we go. Dude, you know, I'm trying. Yeah, no, I haven't. Yeah, no, I haven't been to the desert in America yet. Yeah, I haven't. It would be fun though. I, I, I definitely in the, in the bucket list for me to experience being in the desert. Though I do have an irrational fear of getting lost in the desert and dying of thirst. But what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Try to get these stuff. Oh my god, I actually got it! Nice! Oh, jeez. 
going in. Just what Third I need. Dropper canister borrower. <gasps> oh. Boss kid. It's it's okay. Wait, what are these? Leap left. It's cool that the ma machines that are in the desert are basically related to perch water and frost. More machines. I better deal with them first. Like, that's their strength. You would think it should be their weakness. Kill the machines, optional. Follow the tracks. Mm, what do you think, guys? Should we kill the machines? Okay. I think we should. Nice. Oh, shots! It got. Managed to alert its. Alert its comrades. Comrades, Talaga. How very mature. Okay, let me just. Take some ammo. Try to pull out this one. Oh. oh. Hi, Ale. We got it, we got it. Whew. Okay, got them all. Where did the hell go? Let's just follow the track. I mean, I like doing this. I just, because I find the graphics of following the tracks pretty. But it can get time consuming sometimes. Sometimes you just want to jump into the action. You know what I mean? But I can't complain. The developer, the developers, the, the developers, the developers put in so much time and effort into making this game. I appreciate it, but at the same time, I'm just trying to kick some ass. Do you know what I mean? What in the world? Oh. Let me make my ammo. Okay, well, it has its back turned. Let's shoot our shot. Oh, I like the graphics of it basically almost exploding. Oh shit. Oh shemai. Oh shemai! Oh, shemai mems. It looks like the herd's caught between those sand spirals. I could use that to my advantage. Oh, no, I can't see him now. Let's do this. Perfect. Okay, one more, I guess. Perfect. One, Woo! Perfect. 
Oj, 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 jag nog bara. Jag vill checka hur det ser ut. Parts to build this thing now. Now I get back to Morland. Yo! It tricked! Oh, nice. I think we've got a bullseye with that one. Let's try to do it one more time. Ah, no, nah, that was a bullseye. It was yellow. That one's a bullseye. Oh, <laughs> it was a critical hit. Okay. Let's try it again with this guy. It's kind of fun because it's like a moving bullseye. It's a moving target. Face me, face me, come on. Ay, ay, ay! Let's pop the bubbles. Oh, I thought it'd still be alive. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get up, but apparently we got it good. Oh my god! This actually really did sound like a dying pig! That's so sad. <laughs> Reflection of the water. Okay. Where is my love team? Yeah, my love team! I'm claiming it! Is he still here? Okay, he's still here. What can I do for you, partner? Partner! Oh, I've got I'm... everything I need to build the. Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. <laughs> the incredible oh, diving mask. The workbench is all yours. Why does his face look like that? He looked, he looked high. <laughs> okay, diving mask. <gasps> cool. Special apparatus. Nice, we can use this now. Whoa, there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Hmm. Or a morning. Thanks, that might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time right. to see if this thing works. Find the site. Oh my gosh! It worked! Nice. Yo, this is so cool! Oh 
Oh my goodness, we can go anywhere underwater now! <gasps> Bro, I feel like a mermaid. <gasps> what in the world? Yo, that's so cool, guys. I feel like they should do a flashlight warning the for this part. Right here, more than 30 years ago, back when this casino was still called the Temple, one big day turned my fate around. It's but now, fate's dealt as cruel as hand ever to everyone. Wow. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well. If a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? Oh. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Dude, my outfit looks so badass underwater. Oh. Oh, we have to just avoid them. Okay. All of it's encased in a dome. I thought we would be fighting underwater. <laughs> that would have been cool. Dude. This is so cool. It's a Larpus or Lapras. What's the name of that Pokémon again? But we already fought it as well, the machine. current like swimming against this current is pretty challenging there we go. I feel like we should be able to hold on to something or latch on to something oh here we go investigate the red light Point for the first node south of here. South. Find the primary pump node. Mm. So we have to go to that area. I'm guessing. Can we go down? No, that seems locked up. So we might just have to go up. And then there's probably going to be a way. This world is so freaking beautiful! More machines down here. I'll have to swim around them. Stick to cover. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node.
There must be a whole lot of different stars down here. Water lines for an entire city. Whoa, look at this. The, sh the, the shells look like they're holograms though now that I look at it. So it's like, whoa. I wonder why. Is it because there were shells there before? Or is it like... Oops. There's something I can climb to get out. Okay, climb. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, no, he can climb there. Anyways, I wonder what the hologram shells are for it, whether it's just for aesthetic purposes or it's a place where the clams will grow out of eventually. Ooh, there we go. I see something. Right here. How do I touch it? Okay, there we go. I'll shake it out as I go. Night fire. Ooh, open this file. There. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Hopefully there's some good loot here first. You know, you've got to hand it to Silence. He's a freaking asshole, but he's a smart asshole. Nice, thank you, thank you, thank you. Put this in the mushroom. Stealth kelp will hide you from underwater enemies. What's a stealth? Okay. Stealth kelp. Here's the map. The second node should be on the other side of the game. Oh, these are the stealth kelps. Cool! Yo. This is a whole new level of stealth and I am here for it. Do we? F I'm guessing we. Do we? Can we fly above them though, or would we have to hide? Oh, okay, it's gonna go this way. It's gonna pass through this way. We have to. Oh, Shoxi! Oh, Shoxi! Oh my goodness! I'm trying to hide. I'm trying to swim away and hide. I'm trying to swim away and hide. We made it. <sighs> Join the city, find the secondary pump node. We're here, activate the secondary pump node. Okay, got it, like last time. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever oh, return. There so, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music's swelling. My heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, two. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Oh. Okay, we 
how is this gonna- Oh, we just jump. Okay, got it. Let's jump! Nice. Is it- I won't budge. Yeah? Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Ah, we have to blow this up first. Got it. My bad. <laughs> I should have stood back. Okay, I've taken care of both modes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. Almost there. Almost there. According to the map, the maintenance stations should be at the south end of the dome. Oops. Oh. Looking at the question mark so intensely. Looks like boss is good here. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's red light in that tower. Just like at the console I found earlier. That might be the main station. But how to get in? Come on! Find an entrance at the pump made in the station. Oh, does this look like an entrance? Oh, this looks like an entrance? Oh, wait, no, it's not. Okay, where do we go? I think I'm a bit lost. Oh wait, but data point. System shutdown is almost done. The only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. Like at least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The Odyssey will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still, okay, let's see what my last memory of this place will be empty. <gasps> A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. Oh, he was a zenith! But he did so much for this place. He, he doesn't sound like the others. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Am I wearing goggles now that I think about it? Because how can I just see? Yeah, I'm not wearing anything. How can I see so clearly under your water? in here. Activate the emergency purge. There. Time to draw this place out. Nice. Oh, the 
bubbles. Oh my God, I really love water. I love water elements in video games so much. I have two elements which I really love. Water and fire. Those are the two elements I it. really, really love. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. Ooh. Okay. I should get rid of all of the water. This is... This is pretty relaxing! I mean... You could fall asleep playing this game with how relaxing it is. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but just hearing the water splash... Like... Hear me out. Like, this is something that I might accidentally fall asleep to while wet. playing. If I'm really, 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 really tired. Like, I've been up for 24 hours and for some reason I just want to keep playing video games. But obviously my body's telling me, no, you gotta get some sleep. Hearing the water would make me fall asleep. There is a machine over there. Let's hide. Deal with a big one first. It's a snap mall. Good to have extra. Great. Okay. Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Oh, maybe he left. It's a miracle. <gasps> Uh oh. Come on, come on. Hey, was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Yo, that looks so pretty, though. Yeah, it's difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast. They knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, yes. then. Let's do this. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. Yo! Alright, let's do this. Game time, game time. Places, fellas. Get to that overhead.
Yo, 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 yo! The first water is activated. Oh, we need ammo. Let's use this one instead, though. shot though but I am just so happy we got it looting time oops nice everyone okay little friend you guys all right more than all right this you we did it <laughs> <gasps> We're not all so the embers heavy. we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenant. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here. Is she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Wow. Dude, I love fighting the Tide Ripper or t Tide Bringer. Like, it's such a good enemy to have. So be Probably my favorite stuff. machine to fight with, actually. Should be hiding in some kind of processor. Oh, oh, oh. Look I'm at here the to fish. Bring you home, to Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Whoa. Wow, Poseidon was a lot easier okay. to convince to go bring home. Bring us back to Gaia. And the AC codes of someone must have inserted it via a thermostat interface. Pretty funny. This appear went on for almost an hour before we shut it down. We can't let this happen again. Hate to think what might have those system were compromised would be a lot worse than a few naked Neanderthals on the strip. That's so cool. <laughs> That's a malfunction. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But. Maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, 
call the embers out. Water can flow. Yeah, Everyone's falling at the same time. I can't even focus. That's the only thing I got. Anything is possible. And of course, he is right. Anything is possible. <gasps> you know, I've actually never been inside a casino before. You go. Nice. Wow, look at the elevator. Oh wait, no, it doesn't arrow it. Those are just sand on it. I think this is a dead end. We're not, we're not supposed to go here. Which... Oh... I have to go up? Oh, there we go. Here I come! Wow, you could get lost in this building. Oh, wait there. Oh. It started right. It started right here, more. It than started th right here, here, more than thirty years ago, back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big oh. day, turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt the cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Another recording from Stanley Chen. Okay, I think I listened to that already. Las Vegas. Okay, 4 2060. 20 years ago this week. Oh my god. Stanley Chan broke ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history. Even though many Americans didn't want him there, he struck his spade into the barren soul to see how Chinese political influence had turned back into a boiling hot bit of nationalistic. I cooled that down, finally warming Americans to this idea of a new Las Vegas who would have believed it. That he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era, but Stanley Chen. Dark down before his very real and too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patent info to the competition. Reaction yeah, was right out being he would only eighty-eight thousand dollars. Damn, that's this is still a lot of money, but maybe not because of inflation at that time. Devastated. Number eight, it hit. There's all the thirty-seven to one. Three point two million dollars. Wow, he threw himself back into his work. Eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life. Five years. But Vegas itself, the hot zone crisis, has strangled tourism. Years of ever increasing heat had dried out the county, completely water and critical demand everywhere. Bandon seemed to be the only option. City of Lights was about to go dark for but Stanley Chen couldn't let that happen. Five years. 3.2 million into 200 billion dollars selling water filtration technology. Wow. Yeah. An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice not to have to climb back up.
What did she did? It must have powered up the whole city. What a <laughs> oh. Oh, Whoa. There's another. It's Vegas, baby! His old Gramps legacy ensured our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Vegas! This is essentially Vegas! Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? A new Vegas. I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. Wow. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Dude, they basically recreated Vegas in Horizon Forbidden West. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to pay a visit to that other Ostrom camp I found first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Nice! Dude, the lights makes it look a little bit like the old Vegas. And for them to basically just describe Vegas, that's pretty amazing. Anyway, let's go back home. If the Banuk can survive freezing, so can I. The bass. The beat, I'm kidding. It's so corny. Focus at the end of the day. Oh, there she is. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. What is it? I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. Ooh. Sewer progress. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus, told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. <laughs> it yes! is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the zeniths i guess so give her time she may yet come around how's katalo doing i have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him in an effort to remedy this i have discussed a potential solution with him 
I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. Vegetarianism! She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. They have agreed to disagree! <laughs> okay, more! How's Aaron handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Okay. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene to allow him to process this on his own terms. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of wanted more stories on our companions, but what's this about the old world? Oh, old so the Hades discovery. Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. Mm. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. Ugh! I hate that Pharaoh! So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world, an effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. Okay, the old world stuff. The processor is. Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum, a memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better, eventually. Yes. 
Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the U.S. military resumed the use of human combatants. Yeah, as I remember that. As machinery was unreliable. Mm. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley. Until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. <sighs> Shocks. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Shocks. So Stanley was so a survivalist. The regional control center. It was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database? They would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. Okay, let's go check out Beta now. Dude, every time I talk to Gaia, it's kind of a bit like information overload, and I have to let it mellow a bit. But strike pieces around. Oh, wait, let's catch, catch up with Aaron first. Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all the Aaron? You okay? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. Hmm. So you're training. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me. It does look as fine. I don't think force, it's supposed to be fashionable. To see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. Hmm. What you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. Okay, how about this? I guess you know what we're up against by now. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, <laughs> thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. That's, yeah, that's such a casual thing to say, and I would say that too. Like, I wouldn't mind, it's just that they always try to kill us. She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. What about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. I'll do my best. <laughs> that was actually a pretty nice conversation with Aaron. Okay, let's go here. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <gasps> she found that recording from the data on your focus. That was from Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her. <gasps> Tilda! At the Hades Carrie Ann Moss. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda a while back. I think she knew Elizabeth Sobek. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. 
Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use but to our the advantage? Matrix. She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Okay, data chan. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenas never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. Oh, that <laughs> got stuck on her for a moment there. So this Oops, I pressed that by accident. space looked like a house with an ocean view. I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Oh. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Mm, no. Any information about them was redacted. Yeah. Thought so. She cut you off? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. I don't think so. She... I mean... Could go either way. She could be the most evil one or the actual nice one. I don't know. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm yeah. sorry. She's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Yeah, she really isn't. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you you must miss him a lot of course i do but i don't have time to think about that now i need to get back out there okay i'll keep working with beta gaia says she knows a lot about zero dawn and maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with hephaestus sure but i won't hold my breath but if anyone can get through to Beta, I think it would be Varl, especially with his kindness. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah.
Dragon Quest, go to Demeter's coordinates. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. First, um, it was, uh, well, first of all, yay us, we finally got Poseidon already on our side, on our side. Well, it seemed like, it's not like he was ever against us, but you know what I mean. It was a lot easier for us to take him. We just had to do a lot of swimming around. But I'm happy that we now have our dive mask because now we can really explore the world of Forbidden West. It's definitely gonna open a lot more new doors and like we'll be able to explore new places, which I'm just excited, but also a tad bit overwhelmed because now I'm gonna feel like I'm always gonna have to look everywhere and I'm gonna have to control myself. But I think that's what part of the fun of Horizon Forbidden West is. You just... You can get lost in it, you know? Like, I mean, this is the type of game I can see people, especially those with who have 9 to 5 jobs and who only get to play probably once a week or like every other day. Like, it would last them at least 6 months just exploring this to its full capacity. So as always, if you guys liked today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!